Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my monthly Tanika Talks. We're just going to be doing a little casual chit chat, get ready with me kind of situation. I've got lots to catch you up on, including wedding plans as usual. Today it is eight months until the wedding. Oh my god. If you like these Tanika Talks videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching and leave me a comment down below. All right, let's get ready. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start off with some primers. I've got the Rimmel Insta CC Primer, and this is, thank you, a color correcting primer. This one is very light. Like it doesn't neutralize redness as well as my L'Oreal one. But today, my skin's not looking that bad, so this will do. And then I'm also going to go in with the Benefit Professional just to fill in this situation. So how's everyone been or what's been going on? Today is Monday when I'm filming, which is my usual filming day. So I like to just get a bit of housework done, get my week organized and film my videos. I actually vlogged my Monday routine a couple of weeks ago and I seem to get a pretty good reaction from you guys. Like you liked the vlog. So if you did, make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know because I would love to do more, but I want to make sure you're enjoying it, you know, because <laughs> I'm shy. Not really. For foundation, I'll be using my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation, and I picked this one up in the shade 120. My review of this should already be up, so I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it. Alright, so this is the Fenty foundation on. As you can see, it is super hydrating. If you've watched my review, you'll know my full thoughts, but look at that. Mm -mm -mm. On to concealer, I'm going in with the L'Oreal... Uh, wow. I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I have not put this down since I got it. It's so good. For some reason, the highway is just so loud today. If you can hear those cars, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's just really annoying me. But anyway, let's talk about some wedding plans, shall we? If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I bought a dress. <laughs> so I did two dress shopping trips. The first one was down the Gold Coast. I think I talked about this in my last chatty video, I really can't remember. But we went down the Gold Coast, I went with my bridesmaids, went to a lot of bridal shops. I found a few dresses that I liked and I definitely was able to narrow down the style that I wanted. So then my maid of honor organized another trip and this time I went to Brisbane with my mum, my mother-in-law and a few of my sisters. And so anyway, there was one day in particular that I just loved. It was so beautiful and when I looked over at my family, like, I just saw in my sister's eyes, like, I could just tell how much they loved it, and I don't know. I didn't have, like, one of those big crying moments, but when she put a veil on me, and, like, I looked in the mirror, and I looked over at my sisters and my mom, I'm just like, okay, this is a contender. <laughs> and so, anyway, I really liked that one, um, asked her how much it was, and she told me a price, and I was like, oh, on the website it says it's on sale. And so she had a look and she was like, oh yes, if you buy this sample dress, we'll take $1,000 off the price. Hmm, $1,000 you say? I've got this designer brands on the go palette that I'm going to test out today. It comes with a bronzer, blush, highlighter, and four eyeshadows. Now I've just swatched them and this bronzer is actually really, really shimmery. So I might go in with the designer brands Get Glowing Bronzer instead. I did do a review on this one. I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it. This is a really, really nice bronzer and it's only like $12 or something. So get on there. So yeah, then we went to a few other bridal shops. One actually had that same dress, but it was in a smaller size. So I tried it on anyway. Well, I squeezed into it anyway. And again, it just stood out amongst all the other dresses that I tried on. That was actually at White Lily Couture. If you're around Brisbane and are getting married, I definitely recommend going to them because it was one of the best experiences at a bridal shop. First of all, the store is just 
friggin stunning. They actually give you champagne which was really nice and then you go down into these little private booth kind of areas and then they let every person I was with pick out a dress, any style, just anything they wanted to see me in, they got to pick a dress and then I got to pick like four or five dresses to try on as well. Whereas a lot of other bridal shops you were only allowed to try on like four to five dresses in total because your appointments only go for around an hour. So they're like, you know, got to get you in and out, especially on a Saturday when they're pretty busy. So yeah, then I went home, went back over some of my pictures and I don't know, that dress just was still really standing out to me, but I was uncertain because I didn't have like that crying, oh my God, this is the one moment. I was like, well, is it really the one I want? Like I was kind of doubting myself. And so I had another look online at a few more stores and just browsed and browsed and browsed and I didn't find anything else that I thought, okay, I really love. And in the end, I thought if I keep shopping and don't find anything, I'm going to come back to this one. So I thought, why waste time? I love it. I'm just going to get it. And a thousand dollars off as well. I was like, is this a sign? <laughs> So that was on a Saturday. On Monday, I went back to the shop with my sister, tried it on again, and we end up buying it. So I got to take it home with me that day, where usually you buy a dress and they take like six months to make it, but I got a thousand dollars off because I bought it off the rack and it fits me perfectly. Like all I have to do is get it hemmed and that's it. Like seriously, when does that ever happen? <laughs> all right, I'm going to just take a little bit of this from the palette and just kind of use it as a bit of a topper and I'll put it mostly towards the back here because I don't want too much shimmer on the front of my cheeks as I do get a little bit, well I've got a bit of texture there at the moment. So yeah, that is super exciting. I can't believe I have a dress, oh my God. I have been vlogging these experiences as well. As much as I can, a lot of dress shops you weren't actually allowed to take photos or videos, but White Lily Couture you were, so we videoed everything. I also got a makeup trial and I booked in my makeup artist, which I also vlogged. So after the wedding, I'll put this all together into one video and then I'll put it out there. I don't really want to do it now because I, I kind of want it just to all mesh into one big video and just surprise you with it then. I don't know. I have been doing a few little sneak peeks over on my Instagram though. So if you follow me over there, you can check that out. I do have a little highlight called wedding. So yeah, I booked my makeup artist. That was quite a struggle for me because I'm a bit picky. <laughs> I browsed and browsed and browsed and browsed and browsed. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Look at that highlighter. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I went for a natural glam bridal look and my makeup artist absolutely nailed it. She really understood what I was aiming for and she did a fantastic job. I was nervous though about crying. I'm like, okay, if I'm going to cry, will my makeup get ruined? Because, you know, that's not on. And she was like, no, absolutely not. Like, don't worry, your makeup will be fine. She said, what you can do is just let it run down your face and it will dry. You won't have any streak marks, like nothing will happen. So I put her to the test when I got home that day. I watched a sad movie. I ended up watching My Sister's Keeper, which, oh my God, makes me like bawl my eyes out. And it worked. It stood up to my crying test. All right, so I end up watching My Sister's Keeper. My eyes are bloodshot from crying, <laughs> but my makeup still looks good. I let it streak down my face and there's no streak marks at all, so. <laughs> so one side, I was like letting it drip down my face. I know this sounds so ridiculous, but I needed to test it. And then the other side, I was like dabbing my tears away with a tissue to see what was best. They both worked pretty well. It was really funny because I'm like watching the movie and then I'd like start crying and then like stop myself and get my mirror and be like, I'm like, check out what was going on. <laughs> Look, you do what you gotta do, okay? Okay. And then I booked my hairstylist the other day. I won't be getting a trial until like early next year though. I'm still not 100% sure how I want my hair, so I'm gonna start looking on Pinterest and, you know, doing some browsing. 
I also need to get onto a florist, but I feel like I can't really decide on arrangements until I pick my bridesmaids dresses and actually get a color. And then the next thing we want to do is start booking our honeymoon. So we are going to go to Tasmania, which is right down the bottom of Australia. It's separated a little bit by sea, if you're overseas and you don't know. It looks like such a beautiful state and we just want to hire a car and do a little driving tour. So if you are from Tasmania, let me know what the best things to do are or any little hidden gems you may know of. We have wanted to go to Tasmania for so long. So this is the perfect time to finally book it in. For the eyes, I'm going to take this shade and run it through the crease. I think I'll put a little bit of this deeper shimmery brown on the lid and then I might use the highlighting shade to brighten it up a bit. Um, do you want a coffee? Okay. Time to From the 7-Eleven? <laughs> no, from the Starbucks. Oh, I've never had a Starbucks coffee. Do you want one? Are they nice? Yeah. yeah risk it. <laughs> I don't usually drink coffee, like, late in the day. <laughs> I know I sound like such an old woman, but I usually have, like, one coffee or two in the morning, and it's usually before 10 a.m., so it's currently 11.13. And if I'm going spastic tonight, I'm gonna know why. Now, designer brand shadows are usually pretty impressive, so I've got high hopes for this. I'm just going to stamp this into my crease to build up the color, and then I'll blend it out. So besides the wedding planning, hmm, what else has been happening? Oh my God, the other week. Oh, it was the day I went and bought my wedding dress, actually. So I was with my sister and we went back to my mum's house, opened the door and the, do the mat at the front door was like half dark and half light in colour. I'm like, that's weird. And like I looked around and realised there was water everywhere. The whole house had flooded. Like I could hear a sound and it sounded like the shower was on and I was like, is someone in the shower and they've like fell over and they're blocking the drain or something? And so I go in there and a pipe underneath the sink had burst and it was just pissing out water. So my sister was holding her baby and she just like throws her at me. She's like, hold the baby. And she like runs up to the front of the house where the water main is to go turn it off. And then we went and turned off the electricity and then assessed the damage. So it was probably only like this deep. Like it was about three quarters of the way up the skirting boards for reference. But it had gone from every single bedroom all the way to the lounge room and the kitchen and the dining. Like the whole bloody house was flooded. So first things first, I rang the troops. The good thing about having a big family, <laughs> all hands on deck. It probably took us like two, two and a half hours with about seven people on deck with mops to get this water mopped down the drains. Like, it was a process. So while her floorboards were getting redone, my sister and mum's two dogs stayed with us. Now, I don't have any pets, so I'm not used to them. Like, now, I had lots of pets when we were younger, but as an adult, just not a big pet fan. And these little shits, they got out. Before they got here, we went round to the fences and we made sure they were blocked off so that they couldn't get out, but they found a way. And so my sister calls me at like midday and she's like, oh, Tanika, um, the dogs aren't in the backyard. Excuse me? And then we find out someone's found them and taken them to the pound. Which like, it's really annoying. It's like, can you not just put them in your backyard or something for an hour? Because they do have numbers on their collars, but my mum was away camping, so she didn't have reception. To get them out of the pound, I had to pay almost $500 to get these two dogs back in our hands. All right, so these are the eyes done. It's more of a cool toned look. I'm usually more on the warm side, but I like it. It's like, Smudgy and smoky. Oh, thank you so much. That's okay. What'd you get? Ice latte, as every mm, time. Ice latte. Okay, lipstick. Let's mix it up a little because I know y'all sick of me 
using nude or a tan. What about a deeper nude? <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. This is the Astralis Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Hustle. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh my god, I've been watching so much Kath and Kim. It just come on Netflix and now everything is... Oh, that's nice. It's unusual. It's different. Mm, it's nice. <laughs> oh. If you're not Australian, I think Kath and Kim might be a bit like, what the F is this? But it's so funny. I always get really nervous like with cool tones on my eyes. I feel like it makes me look a little bit dead sometimes because I'm so fair. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like cool tones? All right, guys, well, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed catching up. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know something that has been happening in your life. Also, remember, if you liked the vlog I did a couple of weeks ago, let me know if you want to see more because I did like filming it, so up to you. All right, I think the coffee's kicking in already. <laughs> I hope you're all having a great day. I will list all the products I used down below in case you want to know. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.